27.
sing one more. We got what? Heavenly song. Yeah, man, this this old song right here. It's done been sung once this week, maybe twice. I don't know. But you know, I'm glad the word of God and these old songs of God, Brother Tim, like an old piece of cheese. Yeah. The longer they lay, the better they are. Yeah. Hey, man, I like that old stuff. Hey, man. Oh, well, brother, you mentioned the primitive quartet the other night. Hey, my heroes, right? Hey, man. Hey, this old song, everybody knows it. Just listen to the Will every hope that I have here in the
just rotten. Amen. Yeah. I mean, plumb down dirty. And I've seen the Lord get a hold of them people yeah. and turn them inside out like a pair of blue jeans. Amen. Yeah, really and when He got done with them, hey, He set them on the straight and narrow. Yeah, Amen. He, really he put does. a He put a target out in front of them called heaven. Amen. How do you know that? He did me the same way. Yeah. When I went to church Thursday night, amen, on in that old tent up here on the mountain, I wasn't having no aiming to get saved. Amen. Yeah. But you know what? The Lord had my number that night. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, hey, my uncle was standing up there preaching his guts out, and I just couldn't take my eyes off of him. I just followed him all over the tent. Amen. And when the altar call was given, he had my undivided attention. Yeah. Amen. And we got up, walked up front. Here come my sister just a little bit after that. Amen. And the Lord gloriously saved our soul. Amen. Yeah. 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 And I tell you, I don't think I was the worst person in the world. But just like we said here the other night, I was still lost. Amen. Still going yeah. to the same place that the drug That's right. Still going to the same place the drunkards were. Right. Yes. Right. Amen. You know, hell's full of good people. Yeah. And you know why they're there? Because they didn't get right with God right. in this world. That's why they're there. Amen. Amen. They's good people. They never done anything. Amen. Never done drugs. Never drunk a sip of alcohol. Amen. They's good faithful church members in hell today. Amen. How do you know that? We've been preaching to them all week. These boys have been preaching to church people all week. Amen. Not just lost people. Amen. But I tell you what, I'm not here to play church. I got the goods. Amen. How do you know that? Because he come down on the inside of me. Amen. He'll rock your world if you'll just let him. Amen. And I tell you what, if you get up off the altar and ain't never a change takes place in your life, you need to go down for another dose. Amen. Because you don't get what I got. Amen. He'll come on the inside. The Bible said, make a new creature out of you. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are brand new. Amen. Now you just like a plow mule with the plow and rows of corn. They put them blinders on you. You can't see nothing but heaven now. Right. Amen. That's all you can see. Amen. I tell you what, I enjoy my salvation. Amen. Amen. I'm one of those before I take off. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name God. Thank God. Amen. Good to be back to the Lord's house. Amen. Thank God for His presence here. Thank God for the beautiful singing. Behold how good and pleasant it is that brethren dwell together near you. Yeah. There's something wrong with you. You can't love God's people. Amen. Amen. You know you've passed from death unto life because you love the brethren. Amen. I'm glad the Lord saved me. I didn't have to go to school to learn how to love people. Yeah. They come with the package. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It came with it tonight. I can honestly say that tonight that I love you. Uh, I can honestly say tonight that I mean that, and God's been good yeah. to me, and I appreciate what the Lord's doing around here. God's uh, thought about that message all day. Repent, repent. Yeah. Uh, Preacher, you repent since last night. I repented three or four times on the way to the house last night. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not saying that as a joke. I, I, I pray. Listen. We've got to die daily. We've got to repent. We've got to, listen, if we're going to walk with God, we've got to repent. Uh, I'm telling you, I, I believe in eternal salvation, but I'm telling you right now, folks, you can uh, uh, lose fellowship with the Lord. God ain't going to bless a mess, and He never has, and He never will. Uh, the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That means you've got to be right before you can pray, honey. Hey, a lot of folks, they want to run around and live like they want to and think they can go home at night and just say, God, I need this. Absolutely not, honey. Listen, them little old repeated prayers that people's are saying more this day and time, if they'll get right with God, they can hook up with God and they do some praying, amen. Praise be to God. I just thought I knowed how to pray till I got saved, amen. And then I could feel some voltage, amen, getting a hold of me when I got down to talk to God, amen. Mom and Daddy they used to they come in and say prayers a lot of time before we go to bed. I, I'd be most of the time thinking about what I was going to do the next day. I, some little old rabbit or squirrel or hog or bear or deer I could shoot the next day. I, and prayers didn't mean nothing to me. I, but Mama still prayed. Amen. I, Daddy still prayed. And finally, Brother Tommy, I realized one day. 
something I'd save. Yep. Yep. No, I didn't save you, son. Amen. Most people only know where salvation comes from. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Most people, hey, most people don't even can't tell, you, can't tell you where milk comes from. Right. Right. Hey, they think it comes out of a tree or something. I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue whatsoever. Listen, I don't care how long you've been sitting this shirt. You better know what you've got where it comes from. Amen. That's the person precious thing about this is I know I've been saved and I know I got it. I don't have to copy your testimony. I've got my own. I don't have to sound like you. I am what I am by the grace of God. I am Coy Adams and I ain't you. I know I'm going to heaven. I don't know about you. Listen, because of sin over here. Let me just read you a little something. Listen right here. There's a God above. It's true. He's real. He's yeah. holy. Yeah. He's alive yeah. and well. Amen. Let me tell you something out yonder. There's one called Satan. Yeah. That's still today. Yeah. Listen to me. Getting in the minds of people. Yeah. Yeah. Stirring them the wrong direction. He's getting in our children's heads. He's getting in mom and daddy's and grandma and grandpa. Oh, He's turned a lot of people away. And listen to me. From the truth. He's a liar, the Bible says. And the father of it. But since day one. I want you to think for just a minute here. What a relationship at one time. That God and Adam had. Oh my goodness. A relationship. That nobody ever will get to experience. Like Adam did. But he had heaven on earth. It was all good. It's all wonderful. He didn't have to work by the sweat of his brow. He didn't have to hold his taters. He didn't have to shut the gun. Listen, it was all provided for him. God said, 
said you didn't wasn't good. It might be a law. Yeah. He put old Adam in a deep sleep and took a real bout. Great mm -hmm. woman called her name Eve. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you how weak it man is today. Yeah. Adam, look at the relationship that he had with God. And it come down one day to choose between a woman or God. Yep. Amen. Come on. Yep. Listen, they was one that slithered in there in between that. Uh -huh. And kept lying at them at that yeah. Come on, And that little old serpent today is still a slivering in. Yeah. Yeah. And our churches yeah. are getting in the minds of people yeah. Yeah. and letting them know things and telling them things yeah. and trap out of this book. And let me tell you something, I ain't no match for the devil tonight. But these years for that old devil, he ain't no match for my God. My God's better. He's better. Oh, Satan, buddy. I tell you, he's given me a fit for many years. Yeah. I found out, listen, the hard boy, I can't handle him. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you have a sick one on him again. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 I remember when I was a little boy, young boy. Daddy always told me, he said, son, they take you down to school. He said, one of them boys picked on you down there and you don't fend yourself. He said, you just think they'll whoop you. He said, you get in the house, I'll give you even the worst one. That's what daddy was. Thank God for my daddy, the way he raised me. I'll tell you something my dad told me. Listen, because of sin, because of what he and Adam done, Listen to me, it's why we're dying today. Yeah, why we're suffering. Yeah, why there's a thing called cancer out there that's eating our people up. Amen. Yeah. 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 HIV. Everything else that's going around. Yeah. That one here at one time. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. But buddy, when they sunk their teeth into that fruit of that tree of knowledge, sin came to this earth. Yeah. The ground was cursed with thorns and roars. And we suffered ever since. We have got to get back to the one hey. that can help us hey. and the only one that can. Hey. Amen. Amen. I was a young boy there. We, we played back the mountains when I was a boy. Yeah. Daddy, he had carried me out of the woods one day way back there. Grapevine broke with me. Fell out of a tree. Broke my leg in two places. Broke my nose state in the hospital three days. Boy, they thought I'd die in yonder. Listen, I, we built us a camp back in there. Me and my brother and my cousins. Uh -huh. I had no neighbor down there. We was always good buddies till his buddies come over. Uh -huh. Well, they got up there one day and they tore our little camp down. There they was. Come on, Coy. Do something about it. Well, I got me a pole, buddy. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I'm not fighting out. <laughs> what am I going to do with the rest of them? Yeah. I finally used my head as a young boy. I started to swing. Here they all come at the same time. I throwed the pole down, and I had one thing they didn't. I had speed. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be to God. I outrun them all, but they was close behind me because they know where I was going. And then tore my camp down, built that little pole about like that. We chopped with an axe for days. One day, he was down there working in the shop. I looked back over my shoulder and seen them coming. But buddy, when I rounded into that shop, see my daddy, and daddy, I went to holler for him. He come out of that shop, Tommy. About that time, them four boys rounded the curb. There stood daddy, about five ten. Boy, I felt like he was Superman. He stopped them old boys and said, "What's going on here?" I said, "I'll tell you what they did, daddy. They tore my camp down." He looked. He said, "Come here, boys. They all got their scared to death of shivering." Oh. You go back up yonder and you put his camp back like it was, or I'm gonna give him all the whooping. I followed them. No, I led the way back up yonder. I said, You put that right yonder. You put that right yonder. Hey, but listen, it does good, church, to run to the Father, the one that can do something. That's right, Jake. That's true. Tell you what, 
whatever if you're in the back pew or the front. Right. Just turn these steps to this wall you're right, right. right here. Right. Listen to me. God take care of your problems. Amen. 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 I might get you some scripture right here. <laughs> Genesis 3. Now the serpent. I'm going to read just a little about all this. I'm if going in the New Testament. The Bible says in Genesis 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And He said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Verse 2 said, The woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Uh, amen. Come on. God meant what He said. Yeah. Yeah. I also, listen, I'd like to say my Heavenly Father still means what He says today. Amen. Amen. When I grew up as a boy, not one time, not one time can I remember when my daddy said, I'd be back there playing in church making noises and giggling. When he turned around and gave me that look, and he done that, he said, you're getting it when we get to the house. <laughs> Guess what? I got it. <laughs> Amen. Hey, uh, my daddy didn't put me in the corner uh, and say, time's out. He said, time's up. Amen. Amen. Hey, Amen. Lord, Lord, still be today. Amen. Hey, mamas and daddies are running around. I can't do nothing with Junior. Well, why can't she? You're his daddy. Put him in his place. Amen. 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 We've got to get back to fearing God again. Amen. Knowing he means business. Amen. Listen Amen. right here. The serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. For God know, for God doth know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Amen. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, listen now. Right. Looking out there today, oh. seeing still pleasant to the eyes, and ain't getting us no worse. Hey. We're going the wrong direction. Hey. Hey. And the tree that be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave it to also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. They sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. You can be seated. Let me tell you something right now. And I thought about this serpent right here as he came to them, buddy. A smooth talking and a slick talking. Let me tell you something. I married some folks here a while back several years ago. And I don't do many more weddings anymore. Because it seems like people ain't serious about it anymore. But I married these two. And buddy, what, just about a year later, they got down the road. And they got to getting on each other's nerves. Just about like any normal marriage. But I gave again to tell me she did this. He did that. Hey, oh, it's, it wasn't God's will, they said. I said, no, wait a minute. Before you start blaming it on God, yes. it's what you're doing. And what you're doing is the reason your marriage ain't working. Yes. 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 The pleasures of sin out there in the world. Yes. They left God out of the marriage. Yes. I'm waiting to tell you right now. I don't care if you've been married 10 times or 50. God never broke up that first marriage. You can't blame it on Him. Absolutely not. Amen. Amen. But that old serpent slipped his way right in the garden. He knowed. He knowed that he wasn't no more powerful than God. But he knowed if he could get a hold of Eve, he could get at him. That's yonder. Got thinking about this serpent. I never seen this with my eyes. But I was told this year, back about five, six, seven months ago, a lady that had grown up, I know her grandpa and grandma real well. She grew up in Robbinsville and moved off. She's working in the office, Tommy, with all several different folks 
And a young girl, she bought a snake back about a year or two years prior to this one day. And she talked about a little python, an anaconda. It was all little. She thought it was so cute. And she was feeding it rats and different things. This is what they told me, Tommy. She started letting that snake sleep in the bed with her. Said it would curl up. But she'd come in. And that girl Morgan was her name. She said, you're crazy. Oh, she said, it ain't but about four foot in hell. They said, you're crazy. Oh, she'd just die laughing about it. About another year went on. She come in to work one day. And she said, my snake did the funniest thing today that I've ever seen in my life. Everybody in the office was listening. They said, what did it do? They said, always. It's been curled up right beside me. Yeah. She said, today it's laying stretched out beside me. And as a man heard it from a distance, he said, ma'am, you get that snake out of your house right now. Yeah. She said, why? What's going on? He said, you trust me. I know a man that used to raise snakes. You thought that that was your pet friend for years. She said, what's it doing? He said, it's the size that you love. Ready to eat you. Let me tell you something right now. You may think snakes are bad. You may think snakes are bad. children. He'll cuddle up two of you and I. Oh, really? and thank you ain't no harm. Oh, he wants you to pet on him and rub his little slick head right. and watch his little forky tongue. He's awake for the right time Amen. to get you. Amen. 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 He knows Amen. when to strike. He knows when to put the squeeze on. Yeah. He's I listened to a preacher tell this on a tape and he let me hear the recording of this mama calling 911, Tommy. They had a big python or anaconda in their house. Oh, said so we put it up every night and closed the lid. They had a little old baby in the house. Everybody big. That mama has got a testimony today, Tommy, that make you a higher cross. She said, I just thought it was a pet. Yeah. But daddy woke up through the night and he went down yonder to check on that python. Something just wasn't going right. And the snake was out of the cage. The first place it went was the nursery. Yep. Come on. Mom and Daddy, when you don't think Satan's a yep. building, he's already in your house. They yep. get him out of there. You yep. can't get him out. But if you'll find your place in an order, he yep. can probably go and yep. serve yep. 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 out. He can't get out. God, listen to me. He can't get out of the cage when God locks him in there. Amen. They found that python. With the life squeeze out of that baby. And I heard with my own ears, my own ears, the mother screaming on the 911 call. Yeah. Yeah. It was done too late. Yeah. Tom, you say it, I say it, you say it, Tim, you say it. Yeah. And I'm yeah. glad this, yeah. that people, even after sin, does the damage, they still come to pray. Yeah. But I've seen more tears right here. You listen to these words. In my day, I've seen more tears in the altar of the afterfacts of sin yeah, than I have yeah, years. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, yeah. Because finally, when people say that they're ruined, that they're broke, and people's dead, and families are busted, yeah. That's when they cry. Yeah. Yeah. That's when they call for help. God's trying to warn you tonight. He can save you a lot of tears. Amen. He'll save you a lot of tears. He'll save you 
a trap to the funeral home. Amen. He'll save you a trip to the graveyard. He'll save you a trip to rehab. Yep. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. He'll save you a trip of standing before that judge with second degree murder because you drunk drive and killed some innocent little family. God's trying to save you some trouble tonight and get you in this hole. And if a church can get right, we'll save lost souls before it is. Matthew 4. <laughs> Listen to me. Our Lord and Savior. Let Satan take him on a trip. <laughs> up on the mountain. <laughs> and he done it for me and you. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now. Listen. Listen to me. Satan will come when you're the weakest. Yes, you Amen. 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 Yeah. Let me tell you what, the time that my mom died and my grandma and my great-grandma at the same time, my mom and grandma three days apart, other things are going on. You would think, buddy, I'm going to have it good for a while. Satan will leave me alone. He fought me harder than That's right. That's right. I was yep. telling Tommy the other day, yep. my wife woke me up. It's been about three years ago, two and a half. I was fighting so hard in my sleep and crying. She woke me up. I was wore out, Tommy. Couldn't even hold my arm. I told you this the other day. She woke me up. I said, honey, I'm fighting Satan with everything. Pray with me. Me and her got down and prayed. Satan was so strong in my room. Oh my goodness, church. I pray that she never have to go through what I went through that night. Me and my wife pray as hard as we could pray together. Yeah. And there were no ways, Tommy. She laid back down over yonder and she rose. She said, You'll pray again. I said, Please, honey, yeah. pray with me. Oh, just like Satan, I was afraid, I'll tell you that. I was afraid to roll over and look toward the man room door. I thought I'd see him. Come on. She got my hand, B. And we prayed the second time. Nothing. I told my wife, just lay down here and go to sleep. She said, I can't go to sleep you in this shape. I said, honey, it'll be all right. I'm just going to fight right now. He's bigger than I am. He's tougher. And God said, sing me a song. That church hymn's full of songs. I said, Lord, I can just barely feel his presence on me. Starting to creep through the door. Yeah. I said, Lord, what do y'all may sing? There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. And buddy, let me tell you. Made bread. 
40 days and 40 nights was our Lord there. You know He is hungry. Yeah. Let me tell you something about Jesus Christ if you didn't know it. He is 100% man and 100% God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 40 days and 40 nights. Don't you know He wasn't hungry? Yeah. 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 Satan says, sit big stone there. Turn it into bread. (laughs) Satan said, let's just see you power. Listen, I hear we're going on. But he answered and said, it is written. (laughs) Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. Let me tell you something right now. My lungs feel like they're about right here. I don't care if you all catch them here in a minute. I enjoy preaching. When Jesus told Satan, it is written. (laughs) Can I tell you if it's written tonight, I preach it. Skip over here to verse 8, Matthew 4. Again, the devil taketh him up into exceeding high mountain, sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee that will fall down and worship me. You didn't catch that, did you? Satan said, Took him up yonder. He was talking. God Himself. This is how sneaky He is. You think you've got Satan outsmarted? No. He's smarter than you are. That's it. He had the Creator of all, the one that spoke the word of the rivers yep. begin to flow. Yep. Satan said, You see all of this? He said, If you'll bow down to me, I'll give it over to you. He already owned it to begin with. Amen. That's what Satan will do. He'll come in. I'd be like you, Miss. My house is bought and paid for. I don't know a dime on it. It ain't going to do you no good to come here to my house tonight and try to sell me my own house. I own it. But the devil don't care. He'll try anything and everything to get you to sell it. The psalmist David said, Oh, your honor. Thou sellest thy people for naught. Yeah. Your people, you're selling out for nothing. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I love to preach. Yep. Yep. Listen, man. Come on. Hey, let me tell you something. We're God's people. And we're going to see people saved. Tommy preached it last night. Repent. That's right. That's still the message tonight. Repent. That's it. You're blinded. Yep. Hey, come on. You know, you know. Listen to me. You know, Satan has got you right where he wants you. Hey, you might be a member of this church or some other church. Boy, you feel good about yourself. Let me tell you right now, if you're satisfied tonight where you're at, you're done in trouble. Amen. Satan got you right where he wants you. I want to get closer to God. Tonight more than I did last night. I need God. I can't want the devil. Satan knows who Adam and Eve were. He knows who Jesus was. I want to read you something over here in Acts chapter 19. People said, oh, Satan, give me a hard time. Praise God. Praise God. 
Paul right here been a preacher, buddy. Paul had the power in him, buddy. Yeah. Those ones that possessed over yonder, yeah. he prayed over them, buddy, and them demons come out. Yeah. Now the man of God was a preacher here, and good things were happening. So, there's one over here, see, I'm just going to read it to you. Yeah. In Acts 19 and verse 12, I'm going to start with verse 11. Acts chapter 19, verse 11. Hey, they is one above God Almighty. Listen, that knows what's going on in your life. Amen. Amen. He knows if you are truly born again. Amen. Amen. Could I tell you tonight, Satan knows the ones that are born again. Amen. Listen right here in verse 11, Acts 19. And God wrote special miracles by the hands of Paul. Yeah. So that from his body were brought to the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. God was with Paul, buddy. And his spirit was on Paul. Yeah. Can I tell you what the Bible said? It is written. Can I say before I quote this? It is written so I'm preaching. He that hath not the spirit or none of hell. Yeah. And you ain't felt nothing. God said that the Holy Spirit ain't in you. You ain't none of His. And you better bank on that. Listen right here. Verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews' exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits. The name of the Lord Jesus saying, We jury you by Jesus whom Paul preached. They said, well, we're going to go down and try what Paul's doing. Come out of him in the name of Jesus. Nothing happened. I've got news for a small bunch out there living in the world today. They claim Jesus all they want to. They ain't getting nothing to live in say, you got to repent first. Amen. Paul had it. They didn't. They didn't. Let me tell you something right now. This bunch right here thinks all the crowds falling around Paul. We'll try it. Yes. Listen. There were seven sons of one Seba, a Jew, and chief of the priests which did so. Well, there they were trying their best. I see a bunch today, Brother Thomas, trying their best. They just ain't got it. No. No, I tell you, if they went on American Idol or America's Got Talent, whatever them shows are, they'd probably win it. But God ain't looking that way today. Absolutely not. He's looking at who's got it. Amen. Not if America does have it, but God's looking at if you do have it. Amen. I like this verse 15. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know. Who are you? Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Yeah. <laughs> Glory. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. I know the times get tough, preachers, yeah. but it ain't it good that Satan knows yeah. who we are. Yeah. Well, Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. I listen. Yeah. I hate that old bugger, but yeah. I'm glad he knows who Coy is. You know they didn't have to feel bad. Amen. That evil spirit saying, Who in the world are you, you big idiot? You're trying to call Jesus his name. Who are you? Yeah. He said, well, We know Jesus. I met him back there in the garden one day. I had a set of legs. And buddy, I call sin. I've been on my bed licking the dust of this earth yeah. ever yeah. since. Yeah. yeah. He said, I know. Listen, you boys ain't calling on his name. I met him up on the mountain. I tried to offer him everything, but he wouldn't take it. He went and died for this old crazy world. That includes your wretch like me. Yeah. And I can have life. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah. Jesus I know. And he said, and Paul I know. Who are you people? Yeah. Let me tell you something right now. If you ain't on Satan's hit list, honey, you're in bad shape today. Amen. Tommy, I first started preaching. I had grandpas that were deacons. I didn't have a grandpa or a to that preach. I don't know how to preach. I didn't know how to do that. I'm just a, a voice. Yep. Yep. I'm just letting him use this whole vessel here to me. Yep. As long as he wants to. Yep. Yep. I remember when I first started preaching, people would say some harsh words. Yeah. <laughs> I'd walk in down there at the Mexican restaurant after church. Higher messed up, my face blood red. Yeah. Few little of them old Joel Osteen boys is in there. <laughs> Had their hair all feathered over. <laughs> Come on. Look like there's a posing for some magazine. Come on, boy. They're over eating me up. Everybody crying over my refried beans. But thinking, my goodness, if I got this wrong, Lord, my goodness, they're laughing at me. But I've got to find out. And praise be to God, I ain't nothing. He's everybody. you ever seen. <laughs> she said, why are you screaming and hollering so loud for? I said, I, hey honey. <laughs> I said, you pray. She said, why? 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 Why do you preach like that? She wanted an answer. I was trying to shake hands over her head. But go on, youngin. <laughs> she kept attacking me. She wanted an answer. Yep. Yep. I said, God, how am I going to answer this? A four year old, beautiful little girl, two and a half foot tall, has asked me a question that I can't answer. Well, she looked up at me one more time. And God gave me the sweetest little answer. I got down on her level. And I said, Honey, when something as big as God, Gets us something as little as me. I gotta move. I gotta walk. I gotta do something. Amen. Have you seen her get a bloom before, ain't you? And it finally pops. That's why the Holy Ghost does it. You got it. Something's gonna come out. Satan will know who you are if you're born again. Yes, Never dreamed God would give me a message. What He gave me on this scripture a long time ago. When I was in my sins, run a hundred mile up and down the road, intoxicated, and barely could see the road, I was listening to a song called Hell's Bells. Oh, Wicked music. I didn't have the fear of God in me. Hell's bells is what I'd listen to. Me and Patrick O'Dell, we'd listen to that and we'd sing Hell's bells as loud as we could sing it. And under the influence of alcohol, one little old miss, we could have wrecked up, killed, or killed somebody. Yeah, right, yeah. That's right. Boy, God's above my heart over right now. Yeah. <laughs> I took that old CD and I got born again. Yeah. And I had ejected in that old 98 Chevrolet truck that I had. And I took that ACDC and I slung them hell's bells as far as I could throw them. Yeah. And the primitive quartet moved in. Amen. Yeah. Hey, listen. Oh, I was reading this scripture one day. And God went to get a hold of me. I was all over my living room, buddy, shouting. Hey, I'm going to throw hell's bells, but I'm glad, listen, that comes Sunday morning, that Satan hears my alarm clock going off. He knows I'm a get up. He goes to ringing the bells in hell. He say, do something. This boy's going to preach. This boy, that means business. Yeah. I'm glad I got rid of hell's bells. 
has a set of bells in heaven or in hell ringing in the night. Satan's a ring. Yeah, say I can't do nothing with him. Yeah. 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 He's a hedge about him. Greater than just. Can I tell the redeemed something here tonight? Yeah. We've got a greater hedge than Job. Yeah. We were hedged about by the precious blood hey. of the name of God. Hey. And Satan can't move there. Hey. I was thinking about this message of coming over. Listen to me, I don't tempt Satan. No. Because like I told you, yep. here you can't do nothing with it. Yep. That's right, brother. Come on. Amen. And I know that Satan, ever since this revival's been going on, Kill it for Tom, he's tried to slither in my path, and he has Amen. been. Amen. Throwing things in my mind. Yeah. Giving me options of things that I could do. Yeah. Getting in my mind, distracting me. Bringing people to me that's ungodly. Yeah. Having to hear their old filthy conversations yeah. while I'm in the store. He's a platinum them all around. But I've got news. Listen, yeah. I don't have to tell the devil tonight. He doesn't know where I'm at. Hey. Praise be to God. Yeah. He knows I made it to harmony by the church. Yeah. Satan got you blinded. Yeah. Listen. Adam and Eve had the best thing going on better than any of us here today. Yeah. Right. And that devil slipped between them. Yeah. And their relationship yeah. with God. Yeah. He's a doing it to God's people today. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Listen. Right. If there's something, and they are something, you can be doing for God and you ain't doing it. Shame on you. Yeah. Satan's got to squeeze on you. He's about to swallow you up if you don't get right to that. Church. It's time. Yeah. We get back to sin, these altars filled up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, yeah, you can sit right there where you're at. Come on. You see You've read over when Elijah prayed that far out of heaven. Yeah. What did he have to do before that? Yeah. Retire the altar. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God's yeah. evil. Satan's got you right by the legs. He's got you wrapped right around the waist. You think your family's right where it needs to be. A message like this would come from God. Yeah. If God wouldn't want this people, it's time you get up out of them tears yeah. and find yourself in the altar or back through yonder praying unto God. Somebody come get on that again. While the rest of us get right with God tonight. Before Satan, let's all stand. And find yourself a place to pray tonight. Slide by. 
Anybody else? Listen, if you're here tonight and you need the Lord, yeah. today is the day. That's right. Not tomorrow. Today is the day. God intends for you to find peace in your own heart. Don't turn it away. Don't walk away from the mercies of God tonight. Listen, if ever there was a war that went out from the pulpit, you heard it tonight. You were warned of the enemy's snare. You were told even that he's already begun. The reason Jesus was upset with those cities was because they repented not. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. All you got to do tonight is to obey God, to get honest, and to get right with God. Amen. 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 We come tonight. I know good and well it's more than just one person needs to come out tonight. Yeah. 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 Listen, that ought to touch everybody's heart in here. That's right. right. Amen. 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 I'll tell you right now, the Holy Spirit knows who I am. Yeah. The devil knows who I am. But may I say to you tonight that the Holy Spirit of God knows what's in me too. That's right. He knows every dark place that can exist in me. He's been there. He's done emptied it. And he goes in all the time checking it. Because if you ain't careful, all it takes is ten minutes. Yeah, that's it. You've got something in you that's trying to take root, mm -hmm. trying to grow yes. into sin, and before you know it, it's already manifested yeah. itself. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. And then you go to fertilizing that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. By not allowing the gardener to get it out. Amen. Amen. You can pluck it up and you can throw it out, but the problem is you need the root. The Holy Ghost of God don't leave no root. No, when He gets it out of there, it's gone. Somebody needs the Lord tonight. Somebody needs the Lord. Listen, if we want revival, the church of God is going to have to get right. Amen. I'll tell you right now, God's doing what He said He'd do. God's faithful. And if we want revival, the people of God are going to have to respond. <coughs> if you're not right with God, it's your turn. Amen. It's your turn. Let's sing another song. I got to say something real quick. Bless him, Lord. Bless him. Hallelujah, I'm not going to hell. Amen. Amen. Yeah. About three years ago, God sent me on this mission, and I don't think I've ever shared this in church, but my home church knows what I'm talking about. But. About three years ago, God sent me on this mission to go lead worship and be the worship pastor at a contemporary church. And I was, so that meant I had to give up my piano playing position at my home church, which is something that I did not want to do at all because I'm so grateful for the gift God has given me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I gave it up, and I went over there, and we would sing, uh, we would start out, whatever, and... The Lord was just not in it with within that church. It was one of those name it, claim it, whatever churches, and God was just not involved. And so it was some of the hardest battles that I had to deal with. And uh, I learned what I was supposed to learn, but when I got done there, I stepped off my tower because I was upset with God for what I went through. I, I didn't go back home when I was supposed to go back home. I didn't stay in God's will when I was supposed to stay in God's will. So I stepped yeah. off my, back, my tower. And let me tell you, smoking lots in a stage ain't going to get you anywhere. Yeah. I thought that's where I was headed. Yeah. I thought I was yeah. headed for some big greater place, some stage and lot, some click in my in-ears or whatever. So let me tell you, if Jesus ain't in it, it's not real. And let me say, if there's smoke, there better be fire, because otherwise God ain't going to bless it. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
He said, whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. Yeah. It's a law. Yeah. It's a law. Yeah. You can be sure the sins will find you. change that need to reconcile with God. Let's pray for them. If you're one of them that's leaving here and you don't have peace in your heart, you know right now that God's been dealing with you. I hope you don't sleep a week. I hope you pay them the bed. <laughs> If you wake up having pain in the bed, you'll know the preachers have done that on you. We say that in love. You need to get right with God. Amen. There's yeah. no reason to live in this misery that you're in right now. I, I know what you're feeling. Everybody's ever been lost or everybody's ever been backslidden. They know just exactly how you feel right now. Amen. Be clear, don't get not one bit better. Don't get better until you lay your sin back down at the altar. Get right with God. I believe He's still wanting to send revival. I believe there's more to it. Yeah, we're going to have to be obedient to God. Come back tomorrow night, 6 30. If you need to get right at 6 30, you come right on up and get right with God. Yeah. Amen. Wait on service to start. Let's obey God. Amen. God bless you as our prayer. You're at liberty to go. Amen. 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 Amen.